earth children of America look like the soil in America. They carry the precious blood of America from the earth. All indigenous blooded people have the love and power of life with earth within their blood. They are a part of life on earth. Everything else in their location is a foreigner or a mutation of one. It is as simple as that. Excerpt from The Hidden Ancestral Identity of the American Negro by Redine A. America Harrison. The various cultures collectively termed mound builders were prehistoric indigenous inhabitants of North America who during a 5,000 year period constructed various styles of earthen mounds for religious, ceremonial, burial, and elite residential purposes. These included ancient cultures of the archaic period of 8,000 BCE, the woodland period of 1000 BCE, which are the Calusa, Adena, and Hopewell cultures, and Mississippian period dating from roughly 3500 BCE to the 16th century, living in the regions of the Great Lakes, the Ohio River Valley, the Mississippi River Valley, and its tributary waters. The namesake cultural trait of the mound builders was the building of mounds and other earthworks. These burial and ceremonial structures were typically flat top pyramids or platform mounds flat-topped or rounded cones, elongated ridges, and sometimes a variety of other forms. They were generally built as part of a complex villages for ceremonies, burials, and housing. According to the anthropology, the majority of the mound builder crania is negroid. Craniometry can determine with 95% accuracy. Thus, the descendants of the mound builders of North America are the displaced people today called the African Americans. I hope that you have been informed by the material and the information and that you've enjoyed the content and production. Please support the channel. Your support is appreciated in the production of the video presentations.